guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will do a review and we will review Edmark Smart Pan. So we bought this for 1,650 pesos at the mall and I will click the link below where you could also buy this. So first they will do a first impression and start the favorite review video. Now the Edmark Smart Pan claims that it can do all or cook all of these things and that you don't have to flip whatever you're cooking. So um, based, just basing it on the box, it says that it has a new marble non-stick technology and that the coating is really thick according to the salesperson. So let's have a look at the back box. So it says here that it has steam hole for excess steam to indicate that food is already cooked. So we'll have a look at that later. It has a silicon rubber seal to ensure airtight pressure effect for maximum um, pressure when cooking, I guess. So it cooks quickly. And it has an ergonomic handle with a magnetic locking mechanism for safety and comfort in handling while cooking. So it can steam, it can fry, and it can roast and bake. Bake, fry, roast, grill, and it can also be a hot plate. So let's open it. Let's see. When we bought this, we already opened the plastic, but we didn't really get to open the cooking pan itself. So it comes with a sealed plastic. So if you order it online, so since you we uh, bought it in, in the mall, we had to um, rip the plastic off because you wanted to see how it looks like so it's a bit heavy honestly and it has a coating of some sort here and these circles are supposed to distribute heat evenly so as you can see one side is thicker than the other this can be the cover as well so at the bottom same thing hot plate which distributes heat even need to cook food faster. Um, this side shows or it has the lock so you can remove this if you want to separate the pan, the two pans. So you have two separate pans. Honestly, I don't think I would do that because the reason why I bought this is so that I won't have to flip what I'm cooking because I can do it that way. Alright, so it also has a magnetic lock. So this is the lock. Honestly, it's quite sturdy. It um, clicks into place and when you open it, you will see the marble coating. Similar to um, my stoneware pad, I would say. I think they come from the same manufacturers. But yeah, so it has a thick non-stick stoneware ish pan and this side it doesn't really show in the video but this has indentations for the grills so it's embossed here so you can grill stuff it has this silicon material so that food won't spill and so that the pressure stays inside the pan. It also comes with a spare silicon lining which can easily be replaced um, just by pulling this off and then you can just push it back in and when you're cleaning it they say that you can wipe it off just wipe it off and it will be clean but personally I prefer to wash my pans of course you cannot use um, metal utensils here, just silicon or plastic, and when you clean it, um, it is better to remove this because some 
uh, the food might go here. So this is around, uh, around two inches thick, deep I mean, and this is about, the top is about three quarters of an inch thick. And it also comes with this recipe book. Or the user manual as well. So it's 30 centimeters non stick. So I'm gonna look for the steam hole. Steam hole, where are you? Yes, it should be at the side. I honestly cannot see it right now. Can you guys see it? I'm looking at the sides. Is it? Oh, there. There it is. There's a steam hole there. So, this manual also shows how to properly use and care for the pan. So, um, Cannot, uh, you have to use a non-stick spatch sponge to clean the pan, just a small amount of dishwashing soap, and then you rinse it thoroughly, and then you season it with half a teaspoon of oil into the pan, grease both sides, and then you have to heat it um, using medium low in your stove for two minutes. This can be used for um, induction cookers as well. Alright, once you grease both sides of the inner pan um, and you heat it using medium low for two minutes, you turn off the flame and gently wipe the pan with a kitchen towel. And that is when the pan will be ready to use. So you sort of have to season it um, similar to a cast iron skillet, I guess. Um, and then this is not microwavable. And ideally, the burner should be, oops, sorry, the burner should be suitably sized, so this size. And the gas should sort or sorry, the flame should not extend beyond the base area, because this part may become discolored and it may be permanently, sorry, it may permanently damage the coating. I don't think it will reduce the performance but of course if you want to retain this smooth coating to make sure that the flame doesn't go beyond this side and like what i mentioned earlier plastic utensils only um avoid using sharp objects and do not let them boil dry or don't place them on high heat while empty. So similar to any non-stick pans, I guess. Don't let them be on the heat for too long. And don't clean it or don't immerse it in cold water while it's still hot. Wait for it to cool down. This is dishwasher safe as well. Um, and it's recommended that the item be rinsed of food residue before placing it into the dishwasher. And of course, keep away from children. Sorry, keep children away from the stove while cooking. It shortens cooking time and saves effort and money. This is actually cheaper than the leading brand. I'm sure some of you guys have seen what this looks like. I will also place a link below on how to order that other brand. So for now, this is our review and I will be featuring this on my recipes. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and comment. Do you want to see more reviews? Let me know. Thank you for watching.